Are you about to make application to Germany for your studies, bachelor's, master's, or PhD and must apply through the Uni Assist portal? In this video, I'll be going through this step by step with you, highlighting important things you need to know when applying through Uni Assist, as well as sharing helpful tips that worked for me when I was making my own application. Please watch this video till the end so you don't miss out on important details. Hi, my name is Sylvia and welcome back to the channel. Click the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell. Like and share these videos with your family and friends. This is the official website of UniAssist and once you come here, you come up here, you see Spraka, you click on it and you turn it to English if it's in German for you. And once you're here, it says your access point to German University, apply in six steps. Before I come to showing us how you make this application, I want to first of all say one thing, which is basically more like the first tip from me. When you are making any application, be sure to know what they want, follow the rules, the regulations, and so that you can have a better experience of that service. And having said that, you have to first of all familiarize yourself with everything on this website so that you know where to go and when to go where and by saying this what i mean is to first of all click on their frequently asked questions to see what they have there and see if your questions you would have is already answered and you can see here it has various questions arranged in different um, ways get information plan your application so for example when i click on the information so you will see questions regarding getting information in advance and here you can understand what does uni assist do and questions like that the next one is to plan your application so this is questions gathering bordering around planning your applications and for example, you can click on this question, when can I apply to uni assist? So here it says, as soon as the university has activated this on my assist, we're going to come to that in a bit. But here, importantly, what I want to point out is they said you should apply eight weeks before the application expires. So basically, application for the winter semester 2022-2024 would end 15th of July. So this means that if you're going to be applying through uni assist, you should apply two months before this application deadline. Assembling of documents. So here they also have questions around assembling your documents, what you need to get and the rest. When I click, will I get my application documents back? And they said no. So basically they would destroy your documents at the end of the time. And for that reason, the only request you send only official certified copies, never originals. And when you go, through applying online. They also have questions bordering whilst you're making the online application. For example, I click on, I cannot upload any documents and it says you, you should only upload PDF files and it's to a maximum of 10 megabytes. So this is why I said you should go through this or first of all, familiarize yourself so that when you are directly making this application, you wouldn't have these problems or rather you would have understood what it's all about. And the next is, pay all fees. So you're going to go through this as well. For example, when I click on how much does the processing fee cost? So it costs 75 euros to make one application to uni assist. And if you are making an additional application to another university in the same winter semester, for example, winter semester now, then you'll be paying 30 euros instead of paying 75 euros. Please give this video a thumbs up if you are getting value from it subscribe to the channel also share the video so that others could benefit from it and that's where you're encouraging me to make more of this video that tip from me i would advise you when you're making an application for example winter semester 2023 2024 it's best you find at least three universities you think you are very much fit in their courses so that that's where you have chances and not just on one university and that's way as well you are saving 45 euros so that you once you pay 75 euros for the first university then you pay 30 euros instead of when you submit next semester you would pay again 75 euros and if you have not seen my video where i explained about searching for universities and courses i'm going to link it up here so that you check this video to understand how to search for universities that are also without uni assist application and the one that have uni assist before you are able to come to this 
UniAssist portal, you should already have the university that you're applying to and as well the course. So as you come to another question about send and track, so you can see all the question regarding that. You can see this question, it says, where should I send my official certified copy? So you should send only to this address here in Germany. And this last question is about refugees. So you can also do well to click on them. And, and after you might have gone through that, all you have to do is to hit on the start button to bring you back to this page where you would then directly go to my assist to start making application. And you click on my assist, brings you to this page. And on this page, you click on sign in and here, you're going to basically create a new account. If you have not had an account before with them, all you have to do is to click on create new account. Basically, you're going to enter your email address and password and click on I agree to these terms if you already agree and you hit on create new account. Once you might have created a new account, you have to go to your email address to get their activation code. And here you're going to click on this activation code to activate your account. So here it says your account has been activated and now I have to log in now to actually start the application. And here I'm going to log in with my email address that I've created and my password and click on sign in. Here it lands you to this page which is in German and you automatically come here and click on English to change it. And it says first steps, welcome to uni assistant, thank you. And basically here again, fill in this personal details after you might have filled in your personal details like so you click on continue and it brings you to the second one the contact information so here you have to put in all the necessary fields that are in red you must fill them in after you might have filled in your contacts you click continue this is only applicable if you are going through hoax you start and in my case not i'm going to click on continue yeah it asks you details about your educational history have you graduated from school yes in which country so i'm going to select nigeria your higher school living certificate so here you are going to select what is your higher school living certificate and for some reason you are not on this list you can simply say other school living certificate here and then you would attach that and have you passed the fresh telling so this is for those applying through student colleague if that is applicable to you then you would know you check this i'm going to say no and then as i agree to the terms and condition here it asks you to enter your password again so you click on save and here you get this information your new inbox any messages from uni assist will be made available to you in your inbox i hereby confirm that i regularly will check my inbox earlier you click ok and yeah it brings you now to this interface so this is where you basically impute the course you want to study because it's advised that by now you should already know the course for the sake of this video i'm going to select berlin and yeah my university in berlin i'm going to select Hochschule for Wirtschaft und Recht. I already know this university. And for the sake of this course, I'm going to select Masters because they will offer Master in this university. And here is important that you select what you want. It means you want all courses that is offered by this university and you want those courses that uni, uni Assist is responsible for. And you want those courses that is both with online application as well as you have to send by post and here you hit on search so now it brings us the results based on this university that i selected hochschule for wirtschaft und recht and now i will look through and see if my course is there for example fact finance accounting controlling i'm interested in this one so I'm, i will just show details so this is the details of the course you look through it and if this is what you want you now select it says this course of study was added to your selection if like i mentioned you want to apply to more than one university in this winter semester then you can take out this one and also search for for example um, this university and then you see that okay this is the one that they have you can then select on it and yeah add it to your selection and it says this course of study was already added and once you're okay with your selection you will then come over here to see them and here it says this is my email address and this is my application number 
and I will click on this inbox. I can already see that this is what I selected. The two courses that I selected. And it says, please answer all mandatory questions marked in red. Only then will you be able to submit your application. Also, another tip I would like to give you at this point is, remember, UniAssist is just a middleman between you and the university you're applying to. So please be sure to make sure that all the information that you require, you prepare everything and send it to them so that they don't have to contact you. And before doing all this back and forth, you are out of the application period. Because you selected two courses, you can see that the first one, it says the handling fee is 75 euros. And then the second one is 30 euros. So you're going to be paying a total of 105 euros for this application in this semester that you are applying for. You can click on this link if you want to know more about fees. And when I click here, show additional application related questions. Now you can see that these are the questions you have to answer relating to this particular application. And it has zero of 11. So you have to answer 11 questions. So you're going to go through and fill everything that is being asked by you. This is educational data and you fill it in and answer the questions as honest as possible so that they would understand your situation. And after you might have finished filling everything on this list, you would hit on save and come back later. And then at this point, you can click to upload your documents. Here you can also read the details regarding upload so that you don't make mistakes. Save your files already on your PC so that you can just click on select and you select them and you select the category if it is a letter of motivation, if it is a language certificate. So please do well to select based on what they have here. And when it's all there, you also click on all there. That way it's easier for you and also easier for them to understand what you are uploading. If for any reason you want to see the status of your application, you can already come here. For example, if you want to check your credit balance or you want to change application information, you want to change your email, change your password. So this is where you will have the buttons to do all of those. And you want to see anything regarding your application, you would check, click on this application overview. But for my own case, I have not made any application. So there is no overview for me. You have uploaded documents. It will also appear here. If they have sent you any messages, it's going to be on this inbox. Always check this inbox so that you get to know if they have sent you any correspondence. And basically, this is how you're going to make your applications and send it to them. This is pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Like and share these videos for others to benefit from it. Drop your comments and concerns and I will respond to each of them. And with this, I want to say thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.